Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk to you about Backtrader, which is a Python framework for backtesting trading strategies. So let's say you have this idea for this trading algorithm. Maybe you have some set of patterns or some kind of moving average crossover or some kind of indicator that you look at that you think is effective at, in determining when to buy and sell a particular asset. Well, you might want to write some code to automate that trading, but before you put uh, that algorithm into the market with real money, you actually want to go back and test your hypothesis. Like, is this just something in my head or would this trading strategy actually work in the real world? So what Backtrader allows you to do is to define your strategy as just a simple Python class and also kind of define a, a starting set of cash and a few other uh, settings. And using those settings, Backtrader can execute the strategy against historical data and then show you what your profit and loss would have been. That way your strategy is tested before you put it out in the real, real world. So up here on my screen here is an example of something we can build. And so we're gonna do that today. So what you see here, this is a chart of Apple stock uh, over the years. And you can see uh, it's went up quite a bit, um, but we could have defined some kind of strategy to determine when to buy and sell this particular stock. And so Backtrader can actually generate nice charts like this um, to show you uh, for any given strategy that you define, uh, the green arrow, it'll sh show when a buy would have been executed. And the red arrow here shows when the sell would have been executed according to your strategy. And then you can run this over a historical time period of your choosing. And it'll chart out also like whether each trade would have been positive or negative. And then here at the top, you can see uh, your starting cash and what your value, the value of your cash would have grown into over time. And so it's very helpful to visualize your trading strategy uh, using Backtrader and it also show, um, you can loop through and show all of the, the dates here, what the closing price is. And if I go through here, I can also textually see uh, when buys and sells would have been created and executed and at what price. And so let's go ahead and get started with coding this uh, so you can just see hands-on, how do you go about making something like this? Uh, you'll always see these articles that are like, oh, if I would have invested $10,000 in Apple stock in the year 2000, how much would that have grown to? Um, or if I would have uh, applied this uh, buy the dip, buy 20% dip strategy, or buy this moving average crossover strategy, uh, how much money would I have after 10 years? So Backtrader helps you answer those questions. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the code. So the first thing I'll do here is install the Backtrader package. So I use pip here. And so I'm gonna pip install Backtrader. And I already did that earlier. And I'm also gonna install a matplotlib because that's useful for uh, generating the plots and graphs and charts that we're going to be uh, using to visualize our strategy. And so now that I have it installed, I have this trader.py file that I started. Um, it just, you can start empty in whatever uh, code editor you have. And I'm gonna import Backtrader. And then what we can do here, um, so the main control center for a Backtrader application is called Cerebro. So you think of this as kind of the brain or control center where everything happens. So Cerebro actually connects together a data feed and a strategy. So we add these things to Cerebro and then we and we have uh, this class run the strategy against the data feed and it's able to uh, show us the outcome. So the first thing we need to do is create backtrader.cerebro and instantiate that. And Cerebro generates a, a broker by default. So you'll have this uh, broker attribute here that has a value and we can use that to display our portfolio value. And so uh, the nice thing about Backtrader, it already has some defaults, so you can get started. I believe it's a $10,000 uh, default starting value for the broker. And so we're gonna print that and just run Cerebro and then show the final portfolio value. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and run this. So I'll do Python3 trader.py. And you see I have a starting portfolio value of $10,000 and a final value of $10,000. So as the documentation says, that doesn't show a lot yet because we haven't implemented any kind of trading strategy. We haven't really told it what to do, but what we do have is a broker similar to uh, a simulation of what you would have with something like TD Ameritrade or Robinhood, and it has some cash in it. And we can define uh, what our starting cash value is. And then we can also define our trading strategy that we wanna execute and give it some data so it actually uh, has some data to analyze. So. 
Uh, let's go ahead and add some cash to our portfolio here or to our uh, brokerage account. So there's a set cash method. So cerebro.broker.setCash. So we have the broker and then we can do set cash and let's give it a million dollars. And if I do that and run it, you see that we start out with our million dollars here that we want to trade. So that's all good. So now that we have a brokerage account and we have a million bucks, now we actually need to uh, make some trades. Hey, so I'm going to try to keep these videos about five to seven minutes long so they don't drag on and on. So I'm going to stop this video here. And in the next video, uh, I'm going to show you how to connect a data feed uh, to Backtrader. And then we're going to start implementing a simple trading strategy and run it and start seeing the outcome. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.